Alright, hey, welcome. Uh, this is the Roguelike Squadron, and we're doing a critical let's play of Skyrim. Um, I'm Ron. I'm Zach. I'm Sean. And I'm Nicholas. And, uh, yeah, we're the Ro Roguelike Squadron, like we said. So, uh, what topics are we exploring with this critical let's play? Yeah, so we are exploring the restrictions in a traditionally thought of open world game. Uh, everybody thinks of Skyrim as pretty much the most open game out there for the most part. And we're going to spend some time looking at some of the ways it res actually does restrict the player and break them out of this uh, open game space. Hmm, very nice. Oh, and uh, also I should mention, we do have a fifth member, um, and he's, uh, he's Alex. He'll, he'll be putting text over there and over there. and He'll be, yeah, he's, he's here. Um, yeah. He, he will, he's not uh, here physically, he does not have a speaking role, but he'll be here in spirit. Yeah. Uh, he'll be throwing factoids and references and, uh, like, you're, you know, you're sitting good, Alex, right? I'm glad you think so. Alright, so, um, yeah, we're getting started with a new game, are we? Yeah, yep, that's what we're I'm start. actually not very familiar with Skyrim, I was not part of the crease, so uh, you'll have to explain no, stuff no, like no. I'm five, and ooh, what is it? Well, and the schools have foretold the black They just like to cold. show cool art. Yeah. That Imagine much higher resolution than the game ever gets, <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah. It's our little story. I, I, take, I take it those words are important while all dragons are. Oh, never mind. Not really. No. Okay, well. <laughs> trying to give you it's something like to look at while the loads are really long. See, I wanted to care. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> we will not let you. <laughs> no reading. None. Oh, wait, except for this. Because yeah. we want you to know we made this thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're also yeah, like we're, also the back we're, we're playing yeah. the pizza waiting game as well. Yeah. Um, little, um... Yeah, Alex, throw that up there. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> You're a doll. All right. So yeah, it's basically we're playing a Facebook pizza game with Domino's, no, waiting for our pizza Facebook. to restock. <laughs> it's not Facebook, but basically it's it's a Facebook game. It's uh, <laughs> a Farmville like experience yeah. with only one crop. <laughs> My pizza. Yes. But they want our money. They want, they want a mega transaction, as it were. Oh, oh, we're, yeah, we're awake. Yeah, I, I, so I feel like we, we need to talk about the uh, start of the game here. Uh, if we're talking about restrictions, the start of the game, we have one movement, which is the head, or right stick, allows you to move around, as it just shows there. And you just kind of, you're on a ride, and you can't do anything for the first several minutes of this game. At this point, you haven't made your character yet, right. so you'll, like, see if they'll basically ask you, like, who the hell are you, and they'll ask you, and that's when you pick your character. Did you, does somebody want to speculate as to, like, what the significance of not being able to move your body at all at the beginning of the game? Make it a little bit more critical? Well, I mean... As of I mean, now, you're just trying to introduce you to the world and your situation in it. Like, That's true. By restricting your movements... Uh, it's it's it, forcing what? a plot upon what you. What happened? Did, did we encounter a... What? Uh, I think it's just... Oh, home button. Got it, alright. That's a... Uh, no, it just... But that, that's froze. an option you have. Oh, you yeah. have that freedom to hit the home button. To just quit. Yeah. Oh, for reals, guys, See, I'm not a rebel. This guy gets the option to yeah. run away and get shot in the back. They don't actually don't. give you that option to run uh, away and get shot in the back. You can't get shot in the back? You can't run away and get shot in okay, the back. Okay, this is pretty important. Yeah, so now character creation. Who, who are we going to be? Dude, we should be an elf, man. Elves are pretty great. They don't even know who you are. You're not even on their list. So like, Delicious pizza. You have to make your character. Um, yeah. So you guys keep keep criticizing. I'm gonna go get plates. I'm gonna be a good host. Sure. Yeah, so right. what do what do you want to go Dude, for? Argonian. Argonian. Lizard right. people for the win, right? You want to customize yes. it? I love lizards. Can... Let's do. Let's right. do. Uh... Oh, I like this name. Well, we Prisoner. Can, like, what do you guys think about this name for for Prisoner? Uh, Prisoner. Prisoner. Yeah. I'm going Prisoner. Yeah. Forever being known as Prisoner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down with prisoner. Do they ever prisoner. address to you? At Actually, no. game? prisoner game? thematically really works, right? Because we're talking about confines. Yep. Within an open I don't, world. We we're a prisoner of this game. Look, it cannot move anywhere. 
I can do this. Oh no, I'm I'm restricted being able to do this far. Hold on, I'm gonna put this down here. Okay, because it's kind of right here on the ledge. <laughs> Dude, it's on the edge. Yeah, on the ledge. Yeah. Here, let's put this down there. We just keep handling stuff. Don't cross me because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Guy talking. I got it. The lizard. Hey, racist. I'm an Argonian. They won't even call me. It's immediate prejudice. <laughs> and they still don't know who we are. We're just here. So th yeah. they immediately think, can't move at all. Oh, have no controls at all. What do you see? What like, do you come see on. It's right, right there. there. <laughs> you guys can move your head more than we can. Yeah, we mm -hmm. still have zero control of our body. Hmm. And zero control of our bodily functions, because we probably just crapped ourselves at that yeah. point. I would. <laughs> oh, we have movement. Freedom! Let's see how much freedom we got. We got, uh... Can we get out of this town? Um, like, I'm gonna go over here. This looks like a perfectly... Right. Nope. nope. Not a place we can go. At all. I would not hang around any stone walls. You can't go in there. Can't go in there. It's so, we can move around, but there still is... Oh, wait. We could go in here, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think you can go through it. No, once again, blocked. So there's really only one way to go. And what is throwing rocks at us? It's just raining them. Wait, how long can we wait here? How long Should can we, we wait here and see what happens? Let's see. Yeah, it says up the tower, let's go. But, like, will the town be destroyed? No. No, once we get to that, about that torch there, the wall cave in and the dragon will come and get all angry at us. So if we're here, we're going to be safe the whole time. <laughs> I'm thinking so. Let's uh, take this ladle as a weapon. Uh, you can't. <laughs> they'll just um. stay. They'll stay here the whole time where it's safe. Like we're the I know, ones that right? are gonna run into danger. Like this guy sticks around for pretty much the entire game. Why? Because he stays here. <laughs> At this platform right here, that guy dies. Oh god! Hey, you, just, you can uh, run past him. Oh, okay. Let the fire not kill you because that's a thing. Mix chemicals. Hey guys, I'll fight with you. I'll fight with you. <laughs> just give me a weapon. Give me. <laughs> Hook me up, man. I'm tying my hands already. Yeah. We're, how, we're, we're like ten away. minutes into the game and still have no control <laughs> besides basic movement. <laughs> and that's still like, this is the jump we got. The question is, is it, I mean, is it a problem so much? Uh, it is a restriction. Like, it yeah. makes it so you can't climb. Alright, so here we are, like ten minutes into the game, know nothing about either faction, and they want us to choose. Yeah. So, so who do we go with? These rebels that were here to get their heads cut off with us to get our... Or these people well, that we were going to cut our heads off. Yeah, yeah, man. Let's roll with our crew. So that guy... Uh, um, I say rebels. Like, rebels? Yeah, man. Yeah. Roll with our crew. Yeah, the other guys were going to cut our heads off for no reason. Yeah. We're the rogue squadron, baby. We gotta... <laughs> Are we going... Yeah. yeah. Going into hell to keep... <clears throat> Ron, you want to take over? All right. Oh, well, so, first thing so we're looting a this corpse. This feels uh, moral. Um, Take it yeah, all. The first all thing. of it. So I guess it's teaching you to be a thief mm -hmm. is the first lesson of this. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh my. Mm. All right. Yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There no. Oh, well, look at this guy doing the spinning attack. Just yeah, let him do got this, bro, right? Yeah, he <laughs> won't die, actually. Actually, well, see, oh, and see, I don't know that. Heck yeah. What's over here? This one yeah, just came from. No, I wanted to see what I did. I'm a, I'm a treasure hunter. Yeah. I look for things. So. That's probably why you were gonna get executed. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but still, though, it doesn't give you the out. Oh. And there's rocks falling on dust. me. Let you know that there's a hole there, but a hole. Well, you let's can't be reach. let's be polite. You're still like the fact that you can't even. He doesn't flinch or anything. Yeah, yeah. you can like walk right up and. Like as soon as they give you a little bit of freedom. Yeah. You, they they throw you they baby you with this uh, immortal person, which I get the the game reason for doing so, but it's still like you're in this Im immersive place where there's. <laughs> Yeah. We're a dragon raising an entire town 
And you could just do this and let this guy just clear the room. Sweet. Yeah. Like, you don't actually have to invest in any of this. What's in here? Lockpick. That sounds like it could be useful eventually. Oh, you can use it in this room, actually. Oh, my. They, they, um, they encourage you to do so. Oh, well, there's a shield. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want me to steal? Kill him. Kill him. Ray Lock, you will die. Oh, you oh, can damage him. No, oh. see, get do as much damage as you can to him. Uh, I'll, I'll try. Just keep attacking him. Don't let him. Let him let him recover his energy because he's like just tired of himself out. You don't have to power attack, you can just normally attack. Yeah. Oh hey, I level up doing <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Oh, level up very nice. Him. I make progress by hurting my friend. Takes him a while to kind of be like, yeah, arrows aren't effective at least. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Um, um, that, that made me feel like a cute old badass with a K. Friendship, friendship, just a perfect friendship. When other friendships have been forgot, ours will still be hot. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Wait, one. Oh. He just goes into like the little defensive stance. Oh really? Yeah. Nope. So so you can't actually kill him. La, 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 big, big, big. Dang, he's just so Jesus. Bloody. Look how wow. bloody he is. Don't give us that look. Oh. <laughs> that was a great look. <laughs> oh. Drink all that wine and then go fight that bear. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? <laughs> like, what is this thing made of? <laughs> like, it's made of nothing. Coin purse. You can potentially. <laughs> so now you have two points you can put towards yeah. stuff if you wanted to, and increase Very like nice. one hand. Do twenty percent more damage. Hell yeah! I want to kill my friend faster. All right, let's do this. Hey, oh bear. no, they are actually. Can, are they? Yeah, they're immune to a lot of like disease and stuff. Oh, just because man. they used to live in something about like. Wow! Boom. Holy shit! <laughs> you got it stuck that, in his head. All that leveling up I did, I just two yeah. two hits. Oh, yeah, we were like. We were no, there's like, no, oh, yeah, there's no fun. reason not to beat up on your friend. They don't like say there's nothing yeah. detrimental at all. I mean, yeah. Yeah, just, right there. Like, you really would get better by trying to kill your friend. Like, in real life, <laughs> if you tried to kill your friend all the time, you would get really good at, like, Yeah, but your friend friends. is immortal. I'm like, still, like, only your friend what immortal makes him your friend, life. though? I told you about his sweet behold, his lady back home, that he was sweet on. Yeah, actually, now, at this point, though, we're free to do whatever we want. Huh. Like... Oh, he's angry. Oh, no. <laughs> he's angry. I'm just gonna uh, run away. <laughs> see, so now, that, so, uh, so now that you're free, you can do whatever you want, so that means people get pissed at you. It does give you a sense of freedom that you can ad attack them, but the freedom's negated by the fact that he always just kind of forgets, or... Yeah. Um, it, he should have started doing what he did outside the cave, inside the cave. Like, it doesn't matter. That would have been more realistic. It's like, oh shit, I'm not getting out at all if this guy's following me. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> I totally just mess up your own quest from the beginning. Mm hmm. Stones. Hey, baby. Did you choose a stone? If you're looking for work, how do you know him? I tried to kill him several times. <laughs> He's a friend. He's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> We became fast friends after I tried to murder him several times. I want to give this guy something, so... But then, see, look at the reaction when he gives him something. <laughs> they just get angry at you. You just wanted to give them, like, a weapon, but... You wanted to help him out. Well, like, you're not allowed to speak, so... Well, what happened? Uh... Did the game just freeze? Sorry, buddy. Technical difficulties. We can just keep... You know, do we like this? Do we like the screenshot? There's a little vista. And, like, there's <laughs> zombie faces going on here. <laughs> like, this is a nice backdrop for our discussion. Um, I mean, Alex, if you want to throw something, like, more academic, like uh, a school building or, a, like, 
Um, the diploma, uh, books, um, books. I like the school building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just throw a school building up there. Some students. Yeah, you know, whatever. Just yeah, like make this study. Stephen Hawking, yeah. Michio Kaku, <laughs> all those things. Yes, just make it happen. Oh, thanks. That's great. Yeah. Well, I think we've explored enough of the intro anyway. Like. Yeah. Um. What did we gleam from exploring the introduction? Mm. They. Well, all the limitations were pretty. Uh, focused on getting you through the basically tutorial stage. Mm -hmm. And giving you a basic amount of story. Well, I meant in terms of control and confining control, staying, you know, on topic here. Mm -hmm. Like, um, it's like, for if you were to follow what the narrative is saying, what the narrative wants you to do, then you have some semblance of freedom and whatnot. Like, they don't intend for you to hurt the guy or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they also don't punish it. That's true. Yeah. Which is weird. They make him immortal. They don't even make him fight you in the beginning. And it's mm -hmm. uh, very... I'd say it's an issue, at least in terms of taking a game seriously. Because once I started doing that, I couldn't take this narrative seriously at all. I'm just mm -hmm. like, oh, well, this is how I get the biggest numbers, right? Like, so, sometimes when you deal with this open world stuff, like in Grand Theft Auto and whatnot, when you dig around, there's really not as much consequence as there should be. Or like... And there's not as much freedom as they're actually proposing. Like, mm -hmm. I have to accept that, you know, you're playing the role of some kind of character that they want you to be. You're, you don't have that um, authority to, yeah. like, decide. I don't know, what do you guys think of it when, like, you mess around like that? You guys have been able to play it both through um, a narrative context and, like... You know, just like yeah, then, messing around, trying there's to There's definitely, like, when, when I first played the game, there's definitely a lot of portions. Whenever I discovered something like, oh, this guy can't die. Once, when you play the, when you're playing the game and you discover that, hey, I can exploit this, mm -hmm. then it really, it pulls you out of this narrative. Yeah, it kind of draws you away from the narrative. Personally, for me, I didn't even beat the story. I kind of just went off and did my own thing mm -hmm. when I was playing through this game. So, and Zach, didn't you tell me you did that too, basically? That was most yeah. of your experience, just messing I mean, around? When I played the game, I definitely... Like, when I played Oblivion as well, like, all I really wanted to do was fight animals and, like, all the wild stuff in the game. Yeah. So I felt really free in the game because that's exactly what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. We have to consider, like, you know, what Skyrim... What is it trying to say? Like, when you look at it from... You know, if you started, I'm going to make Skyrim, and what is it about? Mm -hmm. Like, is it about just dicking around in an open world? Yeah, like, what? just messing around? Or is it about, like, this journey to become a legend or whatever? Like, which one is the more compelling thing to the player and from what i've heard from you guys and what i hear from like friends it seems like the more compelling aspect is just going around doing whatever punching giants or yeah like... so yeah what are we trying to do in this time? how do you shoot your weapon again hmm? here we go all right yeah so i just killed two people and that guard's not wearing any clothes. I stripped this guy's clothes earlier so <laughs> he doesn't even react so i just killed two people <laughs> Um, they can take, we'll do, uh, let's go to jail, whatever, man. And by rotten, I mean they're going to place you there and you're immediately going to break out. Mm -hmm. And then oh. everybody in the town is okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> I just paid that bounty, and everybody in the town is okay. Uh, Try finding someone you can't kill. I love how we need a binary, like, hidden detected. <laughs> as realistic as it's supposed to be. It's like, hey, what? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Wump, 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 wump. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing. I'm so bad at this. I apologize. I've uh 
<laughs> All of my Skyrim time has been logged with a keyboard and mouse, and I'm not used to used to this. It's my sure, excuse. That's uh. There's plenty of people that are unkillable in this game. And pretty much anybody, anybody who's a quest giver at any point in the game, for the most part, huh. is unkillable. Yeah. Even people that you kill via quests. Until you get to the, that quest, they are unkillable. Okay, here we go. Damn. There it is, right there. Steel arrow! Okay, here's my problem. Here's why I'm not killing anybody. Because steel arrows are real quick. What is that? What is that? There we go. That's a person. I'm going to hit something. Okay, don't aim right over her. There you go. Damn. Is she still alive? Oh, yeah, she is. So she's one of the uh, people who, look, come on, you can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me. I think you can. I might be immune to disease, though. Okay, see how she got back up and everybody's, for the most part, okay with what happened. No, you see, you see her over there. She is enjoying her tea. Not anymore. And uh, mm -hmm. for the most part, once I exited the inn, people were unfazed. Oh, uh, here we go. This guy's oh, guy this guy's a tad phased. Yeah. I put my weapon away. I submit to your demands. Hey, I said I submit to your demands. To I give. <laughs> okay, whatever, man. Huh. Ooh. Look at him bounce. Look at him bounce. Right. That was wonderful. That was pretty great. Actually, he probably should get thrown into that waterfall. Yeah, he deserves it. A burial at sea. In the river. <laughs> oh, look, look. Pretty much, just like the first bit, there's no real consequence to what you do. There's like some mi minimal consequences, but no lasting ones. Like, nothing, yeah. and it's, I think it's made that way not to impede the player's progress, but at the same time, I feel if you're creating a world like this, and you want it to be believable, that takes you right out of it. Like, it becomes a game, it becomes a plaything at that point, you know, it's, um... At the same time, they don't want to, um, I think it's obvious that they don't want the player to be able to limit themselves by just, like killing in like important uh, figures in the game <laughs> but, but yeah I, I definitely get what you mean like it is limiting when you can't even receive the consequences for an action um, like killing somebody um, when sometimes that may be what you're going for is just to get like let's see if I can defeat all these guys and like they don't even either want to kill you or can kill you right and I mean, they don't... Or you can't kill them, like... Right. That's and, probably the most frustrating. And I guess part of it is they don't make you feel like these... Like, you just punched that guy to death or whatever you did. Yep. Like, um... <laughs> the they, don't, they don't give you any particular reason to feel for these people or whatever. Like, why not go kill them all? Like, Yeah, there's no repercussions for... Well, there's, number one, no repercussions. <laughs> like... Number one, no repercussions, but number two, number Bloody two, knows. number two, and three, I don't know, <laughs> anyway, um, is that they, they don't make it feel like they have these families, or, you know, there's reasons to, like, not kill them, or they have dreams and hopes, and I know it's a huge world, like, you can't, like, yeah, I, I get where you're you going. Can't, do that for everybody. It's not every game can be like Majora's Mask or something where almost every character in town has their own little storyline and things like that and reasons for you to care about them. Um, but it's part of making a believable world. It's part of giving you a good reason, even though you're offered the freedom to kill people. Yeah, that's what makes it difficult for some people to get invested in games, I think, is that there's yeah, not that relatable uh, human condition factor. 
you know? Yeah. Like, it's easy to suddenly... <laughs> like, that, like that, you're still holding his arms. It's uh, rigor mortis, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's funny. It, it is funny, die. but the thing is, like, Damn. I'm sure that the... the I don't think... In the gut, dude. Uh, what? I'm, I'm assuming the designers... Just punch her in the gut. I'm assuming the designers meant for it to be this epic quest, like this thing you're supposed to feel extremely powerful and all this stuff. But when I go around punching people in the gut while they're in a bed, I don't feel extremely powerful. I feel like I'm just... It's an asshole simulator. Yeah, it really becomes people just, like, try and play the game and game the system, and it breaks you out of any yeah. sort of immersion because you're try you're definitely treating it as a game, and you're trying to explore these boundaries. As shown earlier, you were uh, once you realized you could hit that guy indefinitely to level yourself up. Um, it just became a you know, is there a limit to this? When does he get mad at me again, if he ever does? Right. Um, and let's just use this to level stuff up. At that point, you're playing this immersive, open world game, but you're not immersed in it in its story or narrative. You're immersed in, or I don't know if immersed is, it, but you're engaged in what you can break and what you can do, what you can't do. Right. Um, but anyway, uh, you think we have enough of this section? You want to yeah, yeah, on I, I, think, I, think we're, I think we're good. We can okay, yeah, yeah. A new one. Right. What? Oh. What? Okay, so we're at the final boss. The final area, basically. Yeah. It's dodge, maybe shoot an arrow or a spell off, and then wait for it to land and then hack and slash at it. Yeah. It's like this epic music playing in the background, fire going all over, pretty much like the sure. Aurora Borealis up there in the sky, because you're up in oh, for Norse sure, yeah. heaven. But if you were to take this away and just make it like wireframe models or something, with no sound effects, no anything, like, I mean, this wouldn't... This would be a pretty basic game. Right, right. So I, hit this thing. I mean, compared to the rest of the fights in the game, this is definitely the one that requires the most amount of... Jeez. You're gonna die, dude. Great. Great, great yeah. fighting. This is actually, that was the second phase of the boss fight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Teleported on top of this massive mountain, surrounded by all the dragons who were current, who were previously enslaved, and then that guy who wasn't enslaved. They talk languages you can't understand. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, you getting any of this? <laughs> the end. It's the end of the game. The game is over. This just happens forever. Uh, you can walk around, do whatever. Um, they can still attack you. Credits don't roll. You know, let's go. We'll, we'll talk to some people. And yeah. There's really not a huge good. reaction difference, and the world as a whole doesn't seem very different from what it was before. The the Jarl may talk to you differently because he was directly involved in the These that end quest. So the guards realize what you did, but. Yeah, the guards are really good at keeping up with what's going on, but it's still, like, you don't get a discount in a shop for saving the world. And most people are oh, yeah. still like, wait, who are you again? Huh. Well, I mean, yeah, there's there's sort of a, like, like I was just talking about, you know, you did this big epic thing, it's like, oh, awesome. All right, you want to go home? Or, like, because, I mean, it's... <laughs> yeah, I, I, when life. I first completed this game, I was, like, I stood up on that mountain for, like, ten minutes, like... Is that is that it? Like these dragons are still kind of flying around, then they fly away eventually. Like what am I what am I doing? Right. That's the end of the game. Like I beat the main quest line, I guess. Right, but I mean that's. I think there's something very real in that, though. You know, when you see a movie, there's always riding off into the sunset. That's the ending. But you think about it, it's like yeah, they well, where'd they ride to? They just kind of went home and hung up their hat and like took a poop and like you know there's Probably a good day yeah it's like there's a lot of stuff cut out and so the fact that you finish the game and like the end of the game is just the world exists it's in relatively peaceful times and you yeah. gotta walk around not everything has changed for you some things have 
But, was, like, well, you still are living, you know? That's true. I mean, the main problem I have is it's... You finish the main quest line, and the end to the main quest line is very... Uh, doesn't differ, differ very much from other quest lines. Like, there's another line where you can either side with the Imperials or the Rebels and follow that all the way through... Um, complete, and at the end of that, you end up like completely sacking the main city of the other people and killing their generals and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, yay, good you. Like, yeah, that's great. Now it's just time to rebuild. And then there's like no other interaction you can do with them after that point. Yeah. Right. Um, it's just like nothing. Like you, you at that point have a really high military rank of like commander, general or something. Sure. And I mean, that stuff, it's just a limitation of like, it's not a living, breathing world. And, uh, unless they were to... Unless it was an online game that they kept updating along the way, like, the world's not going to change, like, once you've gotten through the content that they made for it. Um, that's just a, it's a arbitrary, it's a limitation. Right, like, yeah, that, yeah, that's all I'm pointing out, is it's a limitation. It's a, it's sure, a restriction, sure. you complete this thing, you become this, you know, general of the armies, and then... Right. You don't. You don't. You don't get to command yeah. troops yeah. around maybe anywhere. Should, like, uh, find, find, a, find a place with some activity to watch. Maybe some like giants killing things or whatever. Like we're just on a blank screen. Like uh, I'm sure Alex has had his way with like just throwing stuff in there, haven't you, Alex? Yeah, you haven't having a good time. Okay. Yeah. Well, like maybe we'll, we'll try to give you something else to work with. Give him another backdrop. Like just. Take yourself someplace else. Well, we're still talking, though. You just teleport somewhere. Yeah, it's the... At the end of the day, you don't feel like you've had that strong an effect on the world that you yeah. spent so much yeah. time in, and it's a, it's a little empty. Um, yeah, also, the narrative bits, you don't have the kind of freedom you think you would have. Yeah, you get, like, one or two choices. Well, Sometimes you get, like, four or five choices, but it's mostly just questions that you can ask. Um, but really, you usually have, like, two choices for, like, um, you have two choices. Like, either you agree with somebody or you're Jesus. calling them an asshole. Like, right. I love what you said. Do you think this guy... I don't know, isn't that real life? Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No. But you're not yeah. allowed to take, like, some stance where you borrow both sides. Well, it's very binary. Power. Yeah, it is very binary. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of this juiciness, a lot of this polish, and all this stuff that gives you any, like, feeling yeah. that it's deeper. Look at that. <laughs> all right, then. Look at him go. Woo! Framing it around what we started with, these limitations, like, um, good, bad, like, I think we were covering the topic of it may be a reason why sometimes people have who don't play games have a lot of trouble investing themselves in a game because it's easy to not care. Yeah. I guess. And it's like, it... Honestly, a lot of the limitations uh, pull, like, they kill the immersion of the game. Like, being able to hit your friend without him reacting to you. Okay, that's... That's not... It's, that's it's not loony. Real. Yeah, it's, like, it's, <laughs> it's not... It's limiting... It's emotionally limiting, is what it is. You don't get to experience his anger or his or his uh, reaction to you doing something that obviously he should be reacting to. Um, right. And, like, with, uh, you know, being a command, like, being the commander of an army, like, you should, if you're a commander, you should be able to tell people what to do. And they don't, they don't give you that option after you've, you know, done all this work to sack the other city. All of a sudden you're not... You're not important enough where you can tell people like, oh, okay, let's do all this because I want to. Like, right. Come on. Um. Yeah, I think that they've sacrificed some level of realism for convenience and fun, yeah. or like fun with quotations, I guess. Yeah. Because like the idea is if, um, and we're focusing a lot on that bit where you can just wail on the guy and it doesn't matter, but yeah. that's so telling of like the game in its entirety like if you can do stuff like that what's you find that out in the first 10 minutes of the game yeah like and it's like from that point on how can you take things seriously unless you choose to actively not do something that might benefit you right then like yeah. to get through the game but the thing is you know 
yeah, they need you to experience this story, so, you know, yeah. they have to make some people unkillable or make the conditions yeah. worth it. Yeah. yeah. Like, more than I think... Because, see, I would have preferred... If I wasn't allowed to kill him and do all that open stuff or whatever, and it didn't have any consequence, they may as well just made another scripted sequence, like the beginning True. part. Like, it was limited freedom. But even within that limited freedom, like, they just did some things that didn't make any sense. Yeah. It makes sense in terms of getting the player through that zone. Yeah, in a game, in a game world, it makes sense, but, like, in a... In a realistic... <laughs> yeah, if you're thinking about this as, like, a... I'm in this world, participating in this world, it kind of breaks the immersion, because it's not, like, there's nothing suggesting it that's the way it should be, like, right. that this guy, there's nothing that it's in the game saying, okay, this guy's immortal, and here's why. It's just, like, he's immortal because the game kind of needs him to not die. Right, yeah. Or, um, with the people in the town, it's almost like, I don't know, like when you were a kid and you'd play superhero games or whatever, and all of a sudden it just got too crazy, and it's like, oh, well, that didn't happen. Like, <laughs> it's yeah. like, uh, I have this power now. Like, or like, you know, it's yeah. like, I went in jail, but I got out. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that like, <laughs> like, yeah, it definitely I, is like that, though. I picked the lava option from the rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Did, um,. Feel that we've answered any questions that we started out with, like by playing through, exploring this game in different ways. Like, how do we feel about it now? Like, it's openness, I suppose. Like, is it that everybody? I think it's kind of just everybody knows it's open with quotations. It's open, but it's not yeah. total freedom. Yeah, it's it's as open as they could get it yeah. right and, um, and of course you know there there's limitations of the machine like this is on the this came out in a 2011 if i remember correctly yeah um well it's and it's an it's an admittedly yeah it's an it's admirable an admittedly, attempt like it, it yeah. is it's an admittedly uh, large world to explore yeah right it you can put so much time into this game and not explore every place yeah but I don't know if it's necessarily about the amount of places you can go, but like some of the things you just can't do. That, like I said just a minute ago, you can go pretty far out into the ocean. That's like Arctic yeah. Sea, yeah. and you can swim out there for hours, yeah. and it has no effect on you at all. Um, yeah, definitely. Even though clearly, like this boat got wrecked in it, but right. yeah, and these guys aren't trying to swim around all the time. <laughs> We, we do talk about how, you know, the systems themselves are limiting. You don't have all the choices out there. And, yeah, in the real world, you do have all... You do have all the choices, technically. Like, yeah. um, in terms of the systems things. that we have set up around it, we do have a set of rules in our society, the way that things work, and, like, you know, you need this amount of money to do this, and you need to take, you know, that kind of thing yeah. in order to get places. You don't have... You don't have a fast warp, but, like, you do have buses and you do not have cars. Yeah, not yet. Not warp, yet. Yeah. The world will get more game-like, right? Do you feel... Are the limits a hindrance to your enjoyment of the game? No, I think it's funny. I mean... I, I think it does serve to derail sometimes. Yeah. And it prevents people from maybe completing the, the larger quest... But I don't know if that was ever like Bethesda's goal to create the best possible single player campaign. Because if they were, then they could have created something more like restricted, like something like Dragon Age or something like that. Yeah. They left it open on purpose. They wanted people to explore um, yeah, and find and find the limits um, of their world. Now I don't know if they were necessarily thinking that people were going to be critical and be like, oh. When you become a commander of the army, you get no authority ever over any of the guards any, at all. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a, a name. I don't think they were really counting on that. But they were counting on people just exploring and seeing what they could do, who they could kill, yeah. what, they could, <laughs> what they could get away with. Definitely when you're confronted with a world that says, okay, hey, you can go anywhere. I feel like most people's first reaction is like, Really? 
and then yeah. they, they test it out, see if they can go anywhere yeah. they, can, they want. They, they either immediately start testing it out, or they become really intimidated right off the bat. Yeah, and like, when I first played this, I was, once you complete, like, this first, like, quest or whatever, and you get to the first main white run town, yeah. it's like, I have all directions I can go in right now, and I have so many quests mm. to handle... Like, I don't know what I'm yeah. going to be doing with, like, this is ridiculous. Right. Yeah. And then you start working on it. You start working down one quest line and leads you to another five town that opens more, up. All. Yeah, five more pop up. And you, if you talk to everyone, like, um, a lot of RPG players actually do, is, like, they talk to everyone and they collect as many quests at the same time mm-hmm. as they can. And you end up with, like, um, if you, like, end up chasing each new quest as they pop up, you end up getting nothing done. Honestly, you'll have like seven. You'll honestly have like thirty quests at the same time, and you're just like, okay, so I'm getting a goat for this guy. I'm getting some gold for this guy. Um, this guy over here wants me to kill everybody in this one town. Like, uh, it's yeah. Honestly, like while have being able to explore everything and do everything is nice. Like at the same time, it's it does get old. Except for this guy. He wants to kill me now. Well, well I wrong. think part of it is, like, you give people the option to do everything, and sometimes they tend to do nothing. Like, if they didn't give you quest lines, like, what would be the game? Would it just be, like, Dear Esther? Basically? Just but with bears? <laughs> Dear Esther with bears? Yeah.